हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द सिटी ऑफ कैलगरी वेर देर वॉज अ स्मॉल इन्विटेशन फ्राम लिंकड इन दैट देर इज अ जॉब अवेलेबल एंड दिस इज अ जॉब फेयर दे हैव इन्वाइटेड बाय अराउंड टू ओ क्लॉक एंड बाय थ्री ओ क्लॉक वॉ हैपन इज दैट सोमा इज अराउंड कॉर्नर एंड ए लॉट ऑफ कॉम्बनीज आर लुकिंग फॉर पीपल you know people to employ and all that so now all over canada there is a job fair everywhere even in my location uh some of these videos i i think happen in uh toronto some calgary you know all over canada right now there is a job fair and you can see the queue you can see the massive numbers of people looking for job and maybe the maximum numbers the maximum staff this company needs the ma- uh, is maybe like 20 or maybe 15 people they just need 15 people and you can see the numbers of people that uh that you know like that that are on queue like that, that are present and the thing is that these are job, job these are just the job fair like on the company website also a lot a lot a lot of numbers of applica- applicants will have dropped the cv so and this thing I, i made a video last month but i think i'm not detailed enough like this thing is happening right now like not just for the immigrants and a lot of people are not saying it online people don't want to talk about it this is not just uh, maybe because i'm from another country or not. even the real canadians are looking for job like real canadians are looking for job like they are complaining they are lamenting and do you know what they are saying they are saying most of these companies are hiring international students foreigners international students to be like they are not hiring us they are hiring indians not um other they don't hire other tribe the other tribe maybe the blacks will be like uh, the indians will tell you no like there are so many jobless indians they are not hiring indians like uh, maybe they are hiring some other people ukraine and everything and also the ukrainians will be they will say the same thing like because it is not about tribe it is not about nationalities or anything it's something that is generalized a general issue i'm not saying there's no job or i'm not saying maybe you will not find job but if you are coming to canada anytime soon like plan ahead you know like plan like set your table like give yourself have a plan for yourself because you might not find that job as quickly as you think you will um canada uh this country has moved from a situation of, of whereby okay i'm here I'm out, you know within a week you find job it's no you yours yours might change so but it's not that easy as you think and i'm going to say it if you're coming maybe you're watching me outside canada and you'll be here anytime soon if you're coming alone don't forget to bring your anything like your accommodation that will take you for like six months accommodation it is very very important people don't really understand that accommodation at least having a roof on your head is very very important is should be the number one priority because you don't want to be homeless outside you don't want to be homeless in canada like you don't want to see the homelessness in canada yeah like homeless people the homeless you don't want to live in the home shelter and that is just it at least bring before i always say bring 3 months but right now i've seen people that are here for 3 months without jobs so bring 6 months you like you can get it in one week and you can get it in 3 months or 6 months but don't live your life on maybe probabilities 
So plan before coming. Like until maybe everything change because I don't really know why, what is happening. But until everything change, bring six month accommodation, bring food that you will eat for that six month. It is very, very, very important. Like your food, like drugs. See, you don't want to. Uh, this country is not a place that maybe you you go to the pharmacy and you'll be like, please, can I have antibiotics and everything? They will refer you to the clinic and you don't want to go to the hospital. It is not Africa. This is not Philippines or any. I don't know where you're watching me from. But going to Canada Clinic is not a place that you just want to go. So I'm not saying it is bad, but you will sit down for hours before you attend you should know like these are things that is happening online so a lot of content creators a lot of check just look at canada clinic like canada hospital so we all know that these people are there is shortage of nurses and and doctors you don't want to be in that situation so i always advise people that drugs that you've been taking back home that you have gotten used to that your immune system have gotten used to come along with it because you know maybe you just moved to a new country mm. you 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 might get sick there's high probability that you get sick and all that so now but just to avoid you spending that much money you know at the clinic at the hospital bring your drugs bring your food bring accommodation like enough money to sort yourself out for the next six months it is very very i see at this stage i'm going to say it far to you canada is not what you think it is reduce your expectation like reduce like, like let's just say it reduce your expectation and that's it and the last thing is have a plan for yourself when you get a Maybe if you want to learn something, get it fast. But one of the things I, I always advise people, you know, people that message me, people I, you know, uh, on, on Instagram or anywhere, like I talk to privately, is that get a driver's license. As soon as you get here, first of all, get the country driver's license. Go for the road test. Go for the, um, uh, what's it called? uh go do the registrar the knowledge test go for the road test get a driver's license because with that driver's license you will achieve so many things it can give you so many things you can get a job just because you have a driver's license you can you know you can sort yourself out because you have a driver you can get a car on loan and you start doing delivery job book buy anything just to bring something to the table especially if you're coming with your family maybe your wife your kids you know or you know just plan ahead plan ahead have a plan have a plan a plan b plan c plan d like if plan a doesn't work within two weeks switch to plan b be doing plan b and c together maybe anyone will work because this country is built for you to work like that's just it canada is built for everybody you will see their citizen working i'll always say canadians are not lazy like canadians that i know i don't know maybe other province or anything but in Alberta that i am canadians are not lazy no 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 so this country is is built for everyone to work so if you are not working something will be missing i'm going to tell you this you are going to be like something you will know that no something is wrong somewhere because you cannot live without bringing something see it's not nigeria it's not africa it's not anywhere whereby okay you see someone nobody will help there is no help coming the government will not help the nobody you will call like even so many people has less than one thousand dollars in their bank account so that is just it. You just have to have a plan. And, you know, I wish everyone all the best of luck. 
have a plan for yourself and i will see you on the next one